Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial from biggerplate.com showing you how to add, edit and remove topics within your mind master mind maps and get started building out your first mind map. Now the quickest way to do that is by using the enter or return key or the tab or insert key if you're on a PC. Let me show you how we'd use both of them. So to create topics on the same level that you're currently working on, as I'm about to demonstrate here, you can simply hit the return or the enter key and you'll see it creates a topic on the same level or what we might call a sibling topic. If I wanted to create a topic on a lower level, we use the tab or insert key to create what we might call a child topic. So you'll see if I hit the tab key now, it builds outwards and I can continue to do that as much as I need to. Alternatively, you can use the buttons at the top menu here. So you'll see you've got a button here to add a topic, so a topic on the same level or to add a subtopic on a lower level, this button here. The third option is to use the little plus icon that appears at the corner of your topic here and you'll see if I click this, again it gives me a subtopic on a lower level. Now to add text I can immediately begin typing once I've created a topic as demonstrated by the little blue border here that shows that it's ready for me to begin typing. So here I can put in this is some text. Now if I wanted to edit that text I simply double click on it and you'll see it allows me to move within it and I can alter some words. So let's just take out is. Now if you wanted to delete some topics as you probably guess, you simply use the backspace or delete key. So you select the relevant topic. So in this case, we've got this one highlighted. And if I hit the backspace key, it deletes that. And again, now it's highlighting this subtopic. I can hit backspace again and it deletes it. If you want to move your topics around, you can simply click and drag them wherever you'd like them to go. So you'll see it gives you this little orange readout showing you where the, where the topic will reattach when you let go of it. For the time being, we, being we'll leave it there. If you wanted to move multiple topics, you can click and drag to create this little box and as you see it highlights everything within it. Or alternatively, you can hold down the command or control on a PC and you can select individual multiple topics if that makes any sense. And again, I can click and drag them and it gives you this little orange readout to show you where it's going to reattach all of the topics you've selected. So we'll attach them to the parent topic here that says move and you'll see they've all rearranged and appeared on that level. If you wanted to hide information that's maybe not relevant to you at a particular moment in time, you can use this little minus symbol here, this little minus button. And if I click that, you'll see it hides the topics below. So I'll do it up here for a slightly better example. And you'll see it minimizes all the content below it. And then if I wanted to reinstate it, you'll see that this button has now become a plus symbol. So if I hit it again, it will reinstate that information. And that's just a useful way of hiding information that's maybe not relevant at a particular moment in time and keeping the view of your map nice and clean. Hopefully that's all you need to get started using MindMaster. For more MindMaster templates, tutorials and training, visit biggerplate.com.